Hey, I'm meteorologist Stephen Abshire here, and you might have heard in the last few days we've been talking a lot about the chance for some wintry weather on the way, including some wintry mix, some freezing precipitation like sleet and uh, freezing rain accumulation. I know a lot of those buzz buzzwords are floating around out there, so I wanted to break down a little bit what we're looking like as we head into the start of this week and what we can expect as we get going here over the next few days. And really, that's going to start today. As we get into Sunday night and heading into Monday, we could see the chance, especially for northwest Arkansas, to see some freezing rain, very light freezing rain. Not everybody would see some of these showers because not a lot of rain is going to be moving through, but temperatures are going to be very conducive over the next four to five days for that freezing rain accumulation to begin, not only for northwest Arkansas and the River Valley, but really all of Arkansas has that threat, and a lot of the south will be dealing with that as well as we move forward here over the next few days. So what are we looking for weather outlook-wise as we head into this week? Well, we're going to have freezing rain potential for tonight, but by Monday and Tuesday, we have a couple stronger systems on the way. And the main impact with these systems and with ice in general, especially when you have some of those lower-end ice totals, is really the impacts on travel. If we have higher uh, ice totals, you could have uh, outages. You could have um, the weight of the ice really bringing down some of the structures or destroying tree limbs and bringing trees down and stuff like that. But we're really dealing with uh, areas that will be difficult to travel in, especially overpasses and bridges. So that is really our main threat as we get going into Monday and Tuesday. But breaking down what we can expect, we're going to have a cold front move through throughout the rest of the day on Sunday. With that comes much cooler temperatures, at least at the surface. Up Higher up in the atmosphere, it's actually going to be pretty warm. We're going to be above freezing, which means even if we have snow and other sorts of precipitation way up in the atmosphere, as it falls uh, towards the ground, we're going to have that begin to melt, and then as it hits the surface, it could refreeze. Now, if that layer at the surface is very thin, that's where you get freezing rain, because once it hits the ground, it'll start to freeze. But if it's not too bad, and we've got a large, a large area, um, a layer that the frozen precipitation is falling through, it'll freeze over again, so we'll have sleep. But for right now, we're looking at the chance for at least some freezing precipitation to hit the ground for parts of northwest Arkansas through Sunday night heading into Monday. And then for the River Valley, mainly just doing some rain because we can see those temperatures are mostly above freezing uh, as we get into Monday morning. But as we move farther into the week, we're going to be tracking multiple systems on the way. We have an active pattern. Things are moving out of the southwest towards the northeast right into Arkansas. So we're going to have the main threat come Monday night going into Tuesday, with Tuesday really being the bullseye for precipitation. Then Wednesday as well, we're going to have another system on the way heading into Thursday. Thursday night, but that's one's looking a little bit more like it's going to stay as rain. But Tuesday and Wednesday could still see some mix. And a lot of northwest Arkansas is going to be the target for uh, this kind of precipitation because temperatures are just a little bit cooler, mostly below freezing at the surface through much of the next few days. Those high temperatures are mainly going to be into the low 30s. But we can't rule anything out for the River Valley in central Arkansas. Still going to have to deal with some of those uh, wintry weather systems moving through. We're breaking it down on Futurecast. We'll start on Monday afternoon going into the evening, seeing some widespread spread wintry mix for northwest Arkansas and the River Valley. We can see Fayetteville is below freezing. Fort Smith at that time looks like it'll be uh, into the mid 30s, so still could see rain to start out. But across the state of Arkansas, we'll see that system push out. And then a similar story goes for Tuesday morning into midday. Could see another round, a little bit heavier precipitation moving in. Temperatures a little bit cooler as well because could see some more widespread uh, wintry mix. Could see some freezing rain here or there, and that'll move out on Tuesday. Then we'll have another system on the way by Wednesday. That that one, temperature's looking a little bit warmer, so we could see a little bit more rain with that one. Not as much worried about that freezing rain accumulation. But taking a look in terms of the whole state of Arkansas, what we're looking at, the really the greatest area for that risk for accumulating ice is parts of northeastern Arkansas, not northwest Arkansas or the River Valley. Uh, th at this section at this time, looks like they're going to have most of the systems move through at a little bit stronger intensity, and those temperatures are just going to be as conducive as northwest Arkansas, so they're going to see that greater risk for the ice accumulation. But we can't rule anything out for our area. Area as well. Winter weather is still definitely likely. We'll likely see at some point some sort of freezing precipitation, whether that means sleet or freezing rain or a little bit of mix of snow. And then we'll also see rain as we move throughout uh, the next few days. So really we're targeting Monday night going into Tuesday. That is the first concern. And then as we get into Tuesday, we'll have Tuesday into Tuesday night into Wednesday will be the two main systems that we're breaking down for the chance of ice and the chance for wintry mix. Wednesday right now, a little bit far out. Temperatures could trend a little bit cooler, but for now it's looking like mainly rain. But for now, you know that first half of the week is looking a little bit sketchy in terms of those driving conditions, especially if we do get some of that ice. But breaking down the final summary, what to know. 
thin layer of cold air at the surface is what we're dealing with this week. With that colder air, if we do get rain to fall, it'll freeze, and that's where you get some of that freezing rain or potentially sleet. Sleet's a little bit of a better condition because it's not just layering across the ground. It's just kind of those ice pellets. But we're going to have multiple rounds of systems moving through, mainly on Monday going into Tuesday, and then Tuesday going into Wednesday. Could see a little bit tonight, but really localized from parts of northwest Arkansas. And the biggest concern will be those driving impacts. Could see some slick bridges and overpasses. And if the roads are wet and temperatures are below freezing here in the next few days, you want to keep an eye out for some of those slick spots because it could have some impacts, especially in the morning commute. And we'll have more updates as we get going here over the next few days, especially as we get into Monday. But for now, just wanted to bring you up to date where we're thinking about what could happen here in Arkansas over this week.